Hello my warriors, I hope that you are doing well. For today's video we're gonna talk about how being accountable has helped me to improve my mental health. Now for all the tips that I'm gonna give you in this video is all related to my past experiences. It might not work to you but by giving you what has worked for me it might give you an idea so that you can improve your mental health. Before starting this video if you are interested in mental health topic I'm gonna ask you to join my newsletter related to men's mental health. We send three emails a week where I'm talking about my past experiences, I send studies, and we have a chat and a community where everyone can talk to each other. If you wanna have a call with me, chat about your depression or mental health, you can join my Discord server, we can have a call, and feel free to open up with us. Without being said, Let's start the video. We often hear the phrase, be accountable for yourself. But what does it really mean? And how can it benefit your mental health? And how did it benefit my mental health? Being accountable to myself means taking responsibility of my actions. It means owning up to my mistakes and taking steps to make amends when needed. On top of that, it also means setting goals to myself and holding myself accountable when needed. I personally believe that accountability is good for my mental health because it gives me a sense of purpose and agency in my life. When I hold myself more accountable, I am less likely to blame others for the circumstances that I am living, which as a result can reduce my feelings of helplessness, anxiety and depression. I still remember, back in the days, I used to always blame my dad to everything that was happening to me because he wasn't a good father and he didn't have good attention towards me. But the problem is, I was using it as an excuse to do all the bad habits possible, overeat, play video games every day and dragging myself down. Like a child who didn't get his candies. And as a result, it only led me to depression, feeling more stressed and being more antisocial. Now we're gonna get right into the part where I'm gonna tell you a few ways on how being accountable has improved my mental health. I'm not an expert, right? But I'm only gonna take the advices that has worked for me and this might work for you as well. We never know. I'm just gonna share what worked for me and how did I get out of this depression with accountability. Firstly, it has increased my self-awareness. Being accountable on myself means being more aware of my thoughts, which has honestly helped me to be more self-aware and recognize patterns that are more related to mental health challenges. Secondly, being accountable has helped me to promote self-improvement. By adding up accountability to my self-improvement journeys, I became more disciplined. I became more disciplined. I take my habits more seriously. And as we said, for the first thing, it's helped me to be more aware, which has given me a sense of purpose, a direction in my life, which has boosted my self-confidence, self-esteem, and results has compounded over the months. This might sound weird, but it has helped me to reduce stress. Let me explain. I used to be this person who used to do his homework late night just before the day where you are supposed to give the homeworks. I was studying my exams two hours before the exams. So yeah, let's say that I wasn't accountable to myself. But when I started to be more disciplined and accountable, it firstly helped me to structure and manage my days, get better grades. It has reduced my stress because I already know that everything is already prepared. Finally, being more accountable also means that it improves relationships, which is taking the responsibility with who you are spending your time with. Are you spending your time with high value people, people that take care of you and with who you have the same values or you are just spending too much time with people that you will probably not see again in a few months and are just using you in a selfish way. That's my personal beliefs, but being more accountable also means that, also means that I have to get higher standards in terms of friendship and relationships. Now that we have talked about the benefits of being accountable, how does it improve your mental health? Now, boys, I'm gonna give you a few tips on how to be more accountable. Again, this has worked for me. I'm only using what has worked for me with my past experiences. I'm gonna tell you how I went from this guy that is down bad and doing bad habits 
to this guy being disciplined and doing the good habits. The first thing that helped me is setting goals. I started my self-improvement journey on understanding what do I truly want? What are my goals? What do I want to achieve in the long run? Because by setting goals for yourself, it will make you more accountable. You would like to achieve more and take more responsibilities in life, which means being more mature. Therefore, if you will face emotional ch Therefore, if you will face emotional and mental health challenges, you will probably surpass them easily. The third thing that has helped me boys is to take responsibility. When you think about it, successful people with a well-being mental stage do not complain about the unfair events that happened in their lives because they utterly accept the fact that blaming the world won't change anything in their lives. And this is the mindset that I started to implement in my life. To whatever is happening, it is what it is. I just have to go through it. The last thing that has worked for me, boys, is to stay focused. When I am working on a task, I have to stay focused and avoid distractions as much as possible. That's why I follow the second step, which is to track my progress. When I have a plan that I can follow in my day-to-day -day life, it is easier for me to be accountable to myself and see the improvement that I am making. In conclusion, boys, being accountable to myself is an important factor to have a good mental health. It helped me to have more control in my life, reduce stress, and improve relationships with others by setting goals, tracking progress, taking responsibility, and staying focused. By doing this, you can develop a sense of purpose. By doing this, you can develop a sense of purpose that will help you boost your mental health in life. Boys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Make sure to join my newsletter, Men's Mental Health Newsletter. If you want to improve your mental health, check the newsletter. You can leave a like, follow. I don't get paid by doing all of these videos, so what I'm going to ask you is to do word of mouth on social media, if possible, if this video has helped you. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Bye.